Well, good evening to you. We're sitting at 62 degrees right now with a clear to partly cloudy sky. Winds out of the west northwest at six miles per hour. Started out this morning at a chilly 41 degrees. Looks like some of those uh, numbers will be again on the chilly side tomorrow. Highs from our weather watchers, 66 from John Scary at Junction City, as well as Pat Armstrong at Osage City and 65 at Hollis from Angela Koppel. A nice cool day across the area. Already seeing those temperatures falling back into the upper 50s north, lower 60s just about everywhere else. Still in the mid 60s around Junction City and Manhattan. But the numbers will continue to fall tonight as the skies are clearing. The winds are letting up. They were a little earlier, about 10 to 15 miles per hour, even earlier this evening. But now we're seeing those winds relaxing. The sun sets, they'll die down even more. And we'll be left with a clearing sky as the clouds have been pushed away. Clear conditions, light winds, dry air all combined together for some chilly weather and that's what we're looking for for later on tonight. We're watching this colder air tracking this in from the northwest settling into the area. Some of the snow falling right along the U.S. Canadian border. That system will move out, will actually moderate a little bit, and another system will skirt across the U.S. Canadian border, and that one will shove even colder weather into the central plains as we had later in the week. Here's a look at the high res run of the future track with mid to upper 50s across the area by 8 o'clock or so. We'll fall back down into the 30s for a large portion of the area. It tries to hold some slightly warmer temperatures in town, but certainly the outline areas down into the 30s tomorrow morning should be back to the low 50s by noon and on to a high in the low to mid 60s again for tomorrow. But just cold enough that several areas from, Pot uh, from uh, Wabunsee and Pottawatomie and Jackson counties northwest, those northwestern counties under a freeze warning for tonight from 4 to 9 a.m. could see temperatures dip down to near if not slightly below 32 degrees in those locations, only to see some even colder weather start to build in. Watch this, Thursday into Friday, here comes a plunging area of even colder temperatures, and you'll see that in the seven-day forecast as we continue to track that colder air in. Tonight down to 35, high of 64, then 68 on Thursday. Look at those highs Friday and Saturday, near 50. Trick-or-treating weather this year in the 40s. A chilly evening on Friday. Saturday morning, we could wake up to 29 degrees and then again hit 50 on Saturday, 65 and breezy on Sunday with a chance of rain increasing by early next week. Look at some of the Photos from the sunrise this morning from Gary County, from Rick Dykstra. Also a view from Manhattan this morning from Daryl Penland. And then some of the Pelicans stopping by Lake Shawnee from Vernon Nelson. Uh, again, beautiful weather for today. And I think again for the next couple of days, but some chilly air arriving by the late part of the week. It sounds like we have a good setup tonight for the World Series game. I think it'll be chilly, but definitely <laughs> good. No weather disruptions, just jacket weather. All right, thanks so much.